Hey everyone, welcome to part 2 of this tutorial on finding the vanishing points for buildings. So this video and tutorial is for urban sketches for people who sketch on location and today we are going to take a look at some buildings that are located uphill which means we are downhill, we are at the bottom of the slope looking upwards at these buildings. So we are going to take a look at some buildings that are along the street, beside some staircase. We are going to take a look at roads that go downhill and then go uphill. And look at some staircase as well. All the photos featured in this tutorial are found on Pinterest. I basically typed in uphill or downhill cities and selected some photos. Oh, by the way, do consider supporting me on Patreon so that I can make more tutorials like this on YouTube as well as for my patrons and create more art content on my YouTube channel. My Patreon link is in the video description below. Alright, let's take a look at this scene. So when drawing something like this on location, it can be quite challenging because our eyes, our brains, uh, they are going to play tricks on us. Um, we know how buildings look, we know how the road looks, we know where those lines are leading to, but if you are drawing on location, you have to actually um, observe what's in front of you to draw what's in front of you, not just what you think you see. So in this case, uh, we are working with a photo, it's actually easier. So let's draw the road first. I'm going to try and get the angle right. This angle is like this, so um, like this, yep, yeah. like this. So the vanishing point for this road is, if we extend an imaginary line up here, it's somewhere here. And now we can draw the side of the buildings. Uh, like this. Now we need to find the vanishing points for the buildings. So if we take a look at the diagonal lines where they are going to, it seems like they are converging at this point here. Yep, I think it's this point here, which is somewhere here. So the vanishing point for the windows, the balconies here, the doors, they are different compared to the vanishing point of the road. So when you are drawing the uh, windows here, make sure that this window, the diagonal line actually points to the correct vanishing point. Is it? Does it look like this? Okay, it's not. Let me just undo slightly. Okay, like this. And we have a door here. And this door will go to the same vanishing point. The top and bottom of the door will go to the vanishing point for the buildings, like this. So we can draw a balcony here, right at the top uh, here, like this. Okay, so now we can see some sort of uh, slope going on. Let's draw this shop on the left side. So this shop on the left side seems to have the same vanishing point as the buildings on the right side because this is a straight road and the buildings are facing each other and the buildings are kind of parallel. So we can draw this shop here on the left side. This is the vertical line. The diagonal line will point to the vanishing point for the buildings. Now you can definitely draw these diagonal lines from observation, um, but if you know where the vanishing point is, it's going to help you draw more accurately and also draw faster. Um, and do check out my first tutorial, part one of this tutorial, uh, if you haven't. Okay, so we need to draw some uh, windows here. We see this um, support for the windows. And those lines are actually going to the vanishing point of the building. So this line is actually horizontal. And this line is almost horizontal. And we have the windows here. There is a signboard here. Okay, so now 
we can kind of see the slope sometimes when drawing roads like this whether it's a sloping road or it's a leveled road i like to add some lines here that are very close together and as the lines move into the foreground i will increase the distance between the lines like this so this is basically just to create the illusion of perspective because things that are further away are smaller so the lines are going to be smaller the distance between those lines are going to be smaller the cobblestones are going to be smaller but as those are lines the road comes into the foreground the distance between the lines are going to be bigger the concrete slabs are going to be bigger the cobblestones are going to be bigger so this will create some perspective so how can we tell this is a slope well um, mainly because there are two vanishing points vanishing points for the building and vanishing points for the slope and they are different and if we take a look at the diagonal lines here um, they should not be parallel here you can see the diagonal lines they point to this vanishing point whereas the diagonal line for this points to this vanishing point for this photo it's not clear to me whether this road is actually going uphill so let's try and find a vanishing point by the way this photo has a lot of distortion so you can see the vertical lines they are not vertical they are tilted at an angle so if you draw from photos and i see you have tilted lines like this then i know you are drawing from photo because in the real world these vertical lines will be straight like this so let's see where is the vanishing point for the road um, it's somewhere here and the vanishing point for the buildings the windows um, the roof they seem to converge at the same point so this tells me that um, this road is actually like leveled it's not a slope or anything and if we take a close look at the bottom of the door here you can see this line here it's going to the same direction so these diagonal lines here they are all going to the same direction the same vanishing point if this building is on a slope then this line here will not be going in the same direction as the road for this scene it's a bit clearer that the road is actually going uphill mainly because i can see the vanishing point for the road and the windows here they are different so when drawing let's um draw and see what happens so the vanishing point for this road is actually here whereas the vanishing point for the windows here is actually somewhere here again the vanishing point is lower compared to the vanishing point of the road so when we draw the windows here again we need to point those diagonal lines to the correct vanishing point we have some flowers here a pot here make sure the angle is right you can see my angle here it's a bit off it should be steeper so that's how our eyes and our brain play tricks on earth when we are drawing on location if you know where the vanishing point is it's easier to draw these lines if you draw based on observation it's um it's going to be a bit tiring to be always comparing so that's why in this case i will try to find the vanishing point first so this diagonal line at the bottom of the window and this diagonal line for the road they are not going in the same direction they are not going to the same finishing point for this scene we have some staircase leading upwards but it's not easy to find a vanishing point for this uh, staircase but we can find a vanishing point for the building on the side because there are windows and from what i can see the vanishing point is actually quite low on the ground at the bottom uh, left here 
So in this case, if I were to draw this particular scene, um, again, I will try to start with the longest line first. This will be the top of the building, the diagonal line here. Um, I will be mostly drawing with observation uh, techniques. So here we have uh, some plants here, stairs here, and we have this door here. Now this door, the diagonal line here will go to this vanishing point here for the building. There is another door on the side here like this. So it goes down like this and the bottom of the door is almost horizontal because it goes to the vanishing point there. I will place some elements uh, as well uh, on the page to help me uh, get some sense of position like I will place a street lamp here I will draw another street lamp here and maybe maybe this air conditioning unit here so something like this and I will just basically try to draw the big ships first and then fill in the details later on this scene is a bit um, detailed like there's a lot of details so chances are I will probably use pencil first to mark out the general composition before I go in with ink it's easier that way especially for scenes with like really challenging uh, perspective I will definitely use pencils first so these are this is the stairs there are so many plants here and all the windows here, um, you need to find their vanishing points as well. The vanishing point for these buildings here um, may not be the same as the vanishing point for these buildings here. Yep, it doesn't seem like they share the same vanishing point. So the vanishing point for the buildings here is actually somewhere around here. So when you draw those windows, you have to draw them pointing to the Finishing point at the bottom right. For a scene like this, I will be drawing uh, some of the elements based on observation and some of the elements I will be drawing based on what I know about perspective. So for these windows that I can see, I will draw them uh, with uh, knowledge of perspective. Wow, um, some of these windows are very compressed, very challenging to draw. But this is actually a really uh, wonderful scene. I like to draw something like this, um, something that's very detailed because when you finish drawing the sketch, you can feel like very satisfied. For this scene, we have some stairs going up as well. And we have buildings in the background so the vanishing point for the stairs is somewhere here the vanishing point for the buildings is um, let's see where is the vanishing point it's somewhere here it's actually quite low here so when drawing something like this on location again find the vanishing point first it's easier so the VP for the stairs is here when I draw the stairs, I can just draw those lines to the to the VP of the stairs. Here, there's a street sign here. The vanishing point for the buildings is here. And when I draw the buildings, I can draw those buildings to the... I can draw the diagonal lines for the buildings to this vanishing point like this okay so this could be the base of the building so all the windows here they should be in perspective in this person all the windows here should follow the perspective of this perspective uh, grid here Sometimes when drawing uh, buildings like this, I may draw these lines uh, with pencils and then draw the windows uh, with ink. 
as for the buildings in the background you can see they um they have a lot of vanishing points so the vanishing point for this is somewhere here and the vanishing point for this is somewhere on the far left and this building it's also on the far left uh, that's where the vanishing point is okay so just block out the shapes with pencil if you find it challenging just block them out with pencils first and then you can draw them with ink later on this is a scene with a road that probably is going downhill and we have another road that is obviously going uphill so let's find the vanishing point for the road um, for this road here it's the vanishing point is here and for this road that is going up the vanishing point is actually somewhere right up there it's high up so we have two vanishing points so which means these two surfaces are not on the same surface they are not leveled and we have some buildings here on the left side so we can find i mean if you want to draw the buildings here you have to find where's the vanishing point so i'm going to follow the diagonal line for the balconies down to see where's the vanishing point sometimes it's a bit um, difficult to find a vanishing point for this buildings because those diagonal lines they are kind of short it's very difficult for me to extend the diagonal lines so maybe i can use my pencil here to see where's the vanishing point so yeah it seems like the vanishing point is down here which tells me that this road here is indeed going downhill because the vanishing point is lower than the vanishing point of the road so this is going to be a pretty challenging sketch to draw again i will probably um, block out the shapes first with pencil uh, we have the trees here and this is the bottom of the road we have um, a different vp here the vanishing point for the road is here for the building is here and for this uh, slope here that is going uphill we don't actually need to find a vanishing point um, yeah we don't really need to find a vanishing point for that okay then you can once you have these two important vanishing points you can then draw all the vehicles that are on this road going to this vanishing point and the buildings here going to this vanishing point basically the windows yeah so when i'm drawing i'm always using my pencil or pen to help me get those angles right especially for angles that are uh, right up there for those really tall buildings these angle lines here are very tricky to draw very difficult to get right if you are drawing based on observation let's see how i can draw the balconies here so the bottom of the balcony is actually uh, horizontal so that's easy i can draw those uh, horizontal lines like this and then draw the balconies and then draw the diagonal lines pointing to the vanishing point below yep so that's that may work as for the cars in the background um, those are really small so you can draw them really small and this scene is actually very compressed so all these buildings in the background um, they are very compressed you will definitely want to create the illusion that they are very compressed so when i draw those buildings i will just represent them as vertical lines here's another scene which is similar to the earlier scene in this case here it's easier to find the uh, vanishing points for the buildings because the diagonal lines they are quite obvious so we can draw the diagonal lines here we can see they kind of converge here and for the buildings on the right side um it seems like the vp also converge at this same point here 
and for the road um, oh okay it seems like this road um, has the same vanishing point as the buildings which tells me this road is actually leveled it's not slope but this road here the vanishing point is here so this is definitely a slope let's take a look at this flight of stairs that are going up so I'm going to treat the steps as a block and let's find a vanishing point for this stairs there are actually two vanishing points one for the stairs that are going up and another vanishing point for this um, diagonal lines that are pointing downwards so for the VP that's up it's somewhere around here the railings which are parallel to the steps that are going up should share the same vanishing point so it's somewhere here yep so all these diagonal lines that are going upwards they are going to the same vanishing point for the diagonal lines that are going down here um, let's see where they go seems like those diagonal lines are going down here and there are some uh, stair what's that stair landing yeah so those lines will point down here as well so if you are going to draw something like this um, do take note of where the vanishing points are so let me try and draw this very quickly we have the VP here for the bottom um, we have one uh, flight of stairs here I'm actually drawing based on observation um, in the real world I will be marking this out with pencil before I draw so the vanishing point is somewhere here and you can draw the steps the railing will have the VP here so we need to draw something like this and the VP for the railing here is like this so it's like this yep again uh, if you know where the vanishing points are it's easier if not well you have to draw uh, all these up and down angles by measuring by observation uh, it's not easy all right it's not easy okay so we have the stairs and we have the tree here here are the stairs from a side view so the VP for the stairs landing and the railings the hand railings you can see they are going in this direction but the overall direction of the stairs they are going in this direction the vanishing point for the stairs here um, they seem to be right up there right up there so when drawing something like this again it's going to be very helpful if you have the vanishing point on the side here for this scene it seems like there are three vanishing points for this road we have uh, one vanishing point here another vanishing point here another one right up there so from what I can see uh, it seems like this part of the road is like level horizontal this is the side that comes up and this side also goes up so this actually goes downhill this goes uphill and all these buildings here um, they don't have perspective in the sense that um, this photo I'm not sure what lens they use but um, here you can see all these are actually just rectangular blocks there are no um, diagonal lines and even if there are diagonal lines those diagonal lines are like very compressed so you, you may not need to draw those diagonal lines so all these are actually just rectangular blocks but for the buildings in the uh, that are nearer to you you can actually see those diagonal lines and you need to find out where 
is or where are the vanishing points for those diagonal lines are they going to the same vanishing point as the road here um, can we see can we tell if they are going to the same vanishing point kind of it seems like they are going to the same vanishing point but if they are not then when you draw those diagonal lines uh, make sure that they are pointing to the correct vanishing point all the photos I've shown you are with roads that are going up so in the third part of this tutorial we are going to take a look at roads that are going down see you in the next video